Hi everyone, in today's video, we're going to go through the window conditional commands and functions. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. Let's get started. I will get started with the win wait command. Win wait command, it basically is a command that makes your script wait until the window of your choice going by the win title exists or not. And by exist, I mean, is it open? Is it launched or not? So this command right here will wait until a notepad instance does exist on my windows for up to three seconds. Three seconds, this time frame is optional. So you can simply just remove everything and just leave this bit and it will wait indefinitely as long as the script is running or if you put in the time frame, then it will wait until the number of seconds you provide. And after the number of seconds has lapsed, if your notepad window still does not exist, then it will go into this one because the error level is going to be set to one. Otherwise, it will go into this one immediately as soon as the script understands that there is a notepad window that has been launched. So if I go ahead and run this and do nothing, for three seconds it will go into that message box because the error level is set to one it will say cannot find notepad however if i run the script again and immediately launch the notepad window it will immediately understand the notepad window has been launched and therefore it goes into the l statement because the error level gets set to gets set to zero so a use case for the winway command that you can make use of is when you launch a Chrome instance. For example, if you don't wait until the Chrome uh, application has been launched and try to maximize that and send some string to it, it's going to send the strings and maximize the wrong window, i.e. it's going to send it to my Visual Studio code. So if I go ahead and run it, it's gonna do exactly what I have described just now. I do have Chrome window just open. However, it hasn't maximized it or has sent the string to my Chrome window and that is because my computer wasn't fast enough uh, to launch that and then maximize my window uh, that I have launched and send the string to it. So you use the win wait command until such time the Chrome instance has successfully launched and if I go ahead and run this now then it's going to do exactly what I have asked it to do in my script and that's how you can use the win wait command. You can also use the win wait active and this is actually a more preferred way for me and that is because you could have the window launched but maybe there is a, a few millisecond gap between when you launch the window and the window actually gets activated so I usually use the win wait active command when I try to launch a, a program so to give you an example of how win wait active works I've again got the notepad and three seconds is again optional and the error level is going to be set to one if the notepad is not activated up until the end of the third second otherwise it will go and show that miss message box that says notepad has been activated so if i go ahead and run it and do nothing for three seconds my active window is still visual studio code and therefore it's going to say notepad not it is not activated but if i run the script again and then launch a notepad when you launch a program like notepad or chrome it will immediately be activated right and therefore it understood that the active window has changed to my notepad window and therefore it has gone into my l statement setting the error level to zero so um as an example i showed you i've shown you before um i'm just going to get rid of this one because this was my uh newly launched chrome to my next monitor and so here is uh, a similar thing except that now i have changed to uh, win wait active from win wait and send the string called google search string so if i go ahead and run it then it's going to send the string to my chrome window because my chrome window is the active window right so you can use the win wait command or you can use the active uh, win wait active command if your win wait command does not work properly you might consider using the win wait active command instead i have win wait not active next and that is just the opposite of the uh, win wait active command and so just to demonstrate as an example i have here notepad being opened 
and it waits until the notepad is activated so that I have explained that in my winwake active command example and then I'm going to go into the winwake non-active which is going to be opposite of that and here is the number of seconds it will wait for three seconds until such time your notepad window is no longer activated after the lapse of the three seconds if your active window is still notepad then it's going to set the error level to one and therefore it's going to go into this message box else if you within the three seconds switch your focus onto something else like visual studio code it's going to set the error level to zero and it's going to show this message box instead so if i go ahead and run this it will open up my notepad window i just don't do anything my notepad window is still active it will wait for three seconds it gets it, it sets the error level to one and therefore i got the message box that notepad is still active however if i run the script again and immediately switch my focus into visual studio code it's going to go into the l statement and say notepad is not active no longer active because the error level will be set to zero when wait close waits until the window of your choice is closed and all of them so there has to be a zero match of the win title so if at least one remains the condition won't be satisfied what i mean by that is if you have multiple notepads just closing one won't uh, make you go into the next lines of codes until well if you have the the number of seconds as the time frame then it's going to wait up, only up until that time again this is optional you can remove that and so if i go ahead and run this and close out of this one it's still going to say message box uh, is not closed because there is that other notepad window that is uh, still in existence and if i open up two notepads again and this time within the three seconds i'll close both of them one two and as soon as i close the last uh, window that is identify the auto uh, notepad.exe win title it's going to go into the else statement because the error level gets set to zero when exist checks whether your window of your designation does exist or not and it's a function and therefore it returns a value you can store that value into a variable like hwnd and i call it hwnd because when exist returns the handle to the window the unique id of the window that is identified by the win title that you provide just to give you a brief look into what the parameters are like these are all the parameters that you should be familiar by now so i won't go into them but if i go ahead and run it right now i don't have any notepad windows open and therefore the hwnd is going to be set to zero in hex code is going to be zero x zero as you can see that just means nil and therefore you get that value however if you have a notepad window open then you're going to get a funny number in hex code this will represent a particular number in decimal but this is going to be the unique id of the the window that it identified using the win title so the opposite of that is when not exist which you have to put in the exclamation mark oops exclamation mark to check whether the win exist uh, function does return a value or knife so if it does return a value then it's going to go into the else statement and display the message box that says notepad does exist otherwise it will go into the yes if if statement being met and go into this message box all right so let me go ahead and run it and it will immediately tell me that notepad does not exist but if i do launch the notepad and run it again then it will say notepad does exist if you want to make a notepad window or any window of your choice to be in existence and wait until such time then you can use the while loop and this is going to have a similar effect as the win win command um, except that you're going to have to use a loop because it's a function you can simply just remove this one if you don't want any tooltip or if you don't want to put a time uh, limit to it then you can just wait using the sleep for 0.1 second uh, each in each iteration of the loop until such time you do find the notepad window but i will just put that break in as well as the tooltip to display the number of a index to show you that it does increase and it will increase up to 30 
So 30 times 100 is going to be 3000, so that's 3000 milliseconds, which is 3 seconds. So this makes it wait until uh, for 3 seconds until the notepad window does exist or not. Nice thing about AutoHotKey is that you can uh, use the function to return and store the return value into a variable within this while statement as well. So while when exists does not bring back any value, so it brings back zero, you continue running the loop. If it does bring back a value, so that's going to be the unique ID of the window, then you break out of the loop. If you have the A index reaching above 30, then it also break out of the loop. So if I go ahead and run this, I'll see that index, le index level going up, and when it reaches 30, or 31, because it missed the, the 30th one, it will return nothing as my HWND, but if I do launch my notepad window while the loop is running, then it will return the handle to the window of the newly launched notepad window. WinActive is, again, a function, and it basically checks whether your active window is matching this win title that you provide or not. If it does, then it will return the handle to the window of the matched window and I've got a message box to display that. I've got to sleep here because I need to activate the notepad window after launching the script. But if I launch the script and do nothing, my active window is going to be Visual Studio Code still. And therefore, you get a zero value for the handle to the window. However, if I do launch the notepad window, it will return after waiting for two, two seconds. It will check whether my active window is my notepad uh, application. And if it is, then it will return the HWND of that window. And so you can use something like this script to check whether your active window is the notepad window or not by checking the value that is returned by the WinActive function. So uh, if I go ahead and run this after two seconds, it will return a value of null or zero, and therefore you will get uh, the else statement saying notepad not active. But if you do launch the notepad, my active window will return or my win active function will return my handle to the window for that window and therefore it goes into the if statement being satisfied. Now you can make a win wait active command equivalent uh, script using the win active function as well. Again this is going to go into a while loop and it's going to be pretty much the same thing as before so if I just go ahead and run it, it waits until the end of I've made it uh, too much longer than that but previously I did put in a value of 30 in here so let me just go ahead and run it and launch the notepad window as soon as launch the notepad window my focus is going to be onto the notepad window and therefore I get the handle to the window for that window and here this is the last thing that I'm going to show you it's not in the list but you do have other commands which are deprecated you may want to use it you may not because they are deprecated but you've got if when active in if when exist uh, which can be replaced by some of the functions that I've shown you previously um, but here is the win active uh, command or you can place this within if win exist command to uh, instead use these commands to check if your window does exist or if your window is active or not this is it for today's video thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video